Hi, this is Ann Primazon. Now we need to talk about beating your competition, learning about your competition so you can really create a strategy to surpass them. Who, why, and how? Who are your competitors on the internet? Where are your competitors on the internet? What content, keywords, or links do they have? How do you look for low-hanging fruit? What terms can you easily own? What theme can you win? Find out all you can about them from their newsletters, free giveaways, get on their mailing list. You should get to know them and if they have a free anything, you should go get it so that you can begin to understand how your competitors are successful on the internet so you can reverse strategize and go beat them. So how to determine the competition? Three tools that, uh, that I use pretty religiously are NicheWatch, H a Hrefs and Raven Tools. Now, A Hrefs is, I pay for that. Same thing with Raven Tools, but I'm still going to show them to you. Niche Watch is free, and Dory showed me that many, many years ago. And you do a search with your keyword, and you see who pops up, and I'm going to demonstrate that in just a second. And why do we check our competition? Because you really need to begin everything with a baseline. If you see who's already ranking and look at what they've done, it gives you a great target to aim for. As you track from your baseline, you can better estimate the work you need to do and what it's really going to take to start ranking higher. Does Google grade on a bell curve? You know, some SEO people who are in this industry believe that Google doesn't have one set of factors to make a page the best option to rank high but rather looks at all the competitors for a certain term to find the best in that group. For example, the goals to rank a page of medical information might be very different than that of a page selling a widget, right? While it's great to follow best practices in your SEO, looking at your competition gives you a good idea of what to do to be one step ahead versus shooting so far out you look conspicuous to the algorithm. So. Three steps to beating your competition. Step one, you need to analyze your competitor's website. What keywords do, you, do they rank for? How many off-site links do they have? How many citations do they have? You need, you need to compare the design, architecture, and speed. Step two, put a strategy into place to systematically surpass the metrics from above. Begin on-site optimization. Begin off-site optimization. Begin local optimization. Load faster. Step three, rinse and repeat. Let's study our competition. Okay, now it's time to go look at our competition. So this is Ann Primazon, and what we're going to start with is a free place called Niche Watch. All you need to do is put in a keyword here. So one of the keywords that we decided we're going to try to get and to rank for is best SEO agency. And so the way that we chose that is we said, we're going to go with best SEO agency Seal Beach. So all I would do here is put in Best SEO Agency Seal Beach. Now to save time, I've already done that. I put in Best SEO Agency Seal Beach. I've got two that have come back, but it's still kind of filling out. So just to keep the video going, I'm going to open up a Google window. Let's just go to um, a full Google window, google.com. Uh, and I'll put it in here. Let's be sure that I'm signed out so that... Uh, we don't have any results. Whenever you're signed into Google and you do a search result, it's different than when you're not signed in. So I wanted to sign out and I'll put best uh, SEO agency SEO Beach. Okay, let's just go ahead and turn that around. We've got 328,000 results. So as we go down here, we can see, okay, this is all somebody paying for advertising, all where it says ad and all the way down. Thumbtack is the first result. Web Design Studio Pro, not us. Get Found Quick, another kind of web, web um, uh, yellow pages. And then we've got us, Seal Beach SEO. And then under this we've got California Integrity, Visible, Biz Industries, SEO Long Beach, OC SEO. So let's go see what we need to do to really pop to the top. We want to beat these people right here. Eventually we'd like to be higher, but let's see what we need to do to really rank for that. So I'm going to go back to um, see where Niche Watch is, and while it's still doing that, let's go compare these sites. So we've got Seal Beach SEO, Web Design Studio Pro, 
SEO Long Beach and the other ones that came up. This is in a Ahrefs. And so this is one of the sites that we pay for. So let's just see what the competition comes up. As that's going, I'm going to bring up Raven Tools, which is a, oh wow, that happened so quick. Uh, Raven Tools, I'm just going to go to the competitor manager. Remember, this is something that I particularly own. And I'm going to put all of these in. I'm going to add that. So let's go back to Ahrefs, so Seal Beach SEO. So see here, we've got one Twitter account, three. So for social, I mean, we, we're just starting out. Upgrade to get more metrics if I want to get LinkedIn or Pinterest. SEO Long Beach, killing it there. OC SEO, oh my goodness, they're killing it. They're winning in social by far. As we start to scroll down, we start looking at links and it tells us we're a brand new site. We have no .gov links, no .edu links, no .com, no .net, no .org. So the person that's ahead of us, they have seven links from a .com, one from a .net, from 10 IP addresses and subnets. If you go down here, OCSEO clearly just killing it here with all of their backlinks. And then this California, this website is actually a subdomain of Integrity Marketing SEO. So I mean, for us to kind of own this little area, we're going to have to look at this. Now here's 44 referring pages, so their site is pretty deep, but still, this site has 971 pages, 258. So as we start to go down and we look at all of these different um, interesting bits of information, in total, they have 52 backlinks. That's outside websites linking to them. These people have one. As you can see, we have none all the way down. This company has 1,264. This company has 264. Now we looked at crawled pages. So we've not had any crawled pages. They've had one. They've had 98. This company's had 323. You start to look at text. Then you look at do follow and no follow. And this has to do with the types of links. So see. Up here they have 52 backlinks, but here they say that they have 37 no follow links and 10 follow links. Where here they have 442 no follow links and 784 follow links. This is very important because it helps you to start to understand if we wanted to really rank number one on many terms, even though we rank higher than this uh, company that's winning in the green, this lets me know that this company probably ranks very well in my niche. It's a great competitor for us to compare to. We can come down and it shows us how their link strategy is. You can see we have nothing because we don't have anything. And you look down here and it says site-wide, not site-wide. So all of this is not site-wide. This is just showing us um, for the whole domain. And as you look, you can see that very few of these are redirected links. So a redirected link is if there's a link out there that was linking to one website, it's redirected back to their home page. Or if there's an internal link, it's coming back to their home page. So as you can see here, um, lots of text links, um, no forms. So these are very interesting little uh, tidbits that we can look at <clears throat> to decide how we want to go about building our strategy. So in the end, what we would need to do very clearly is we would need to get some backlinks to us to overtake some of these positions on the page to rank for this. Let's see what this competitor manager has come up with. So. I just needed to click on something a little different and now I'm in here and if I look at this domain, this Integrity Marketing SEO, we can come right here and we can see this. I can go down and I can look at the domain names, exactly how many links they have. But when I go into Raven Tools, it gives it to me just in a little different way to look at it. The truth of the matter is this uh, followed links to the root of the domain has 5,400. The total links, very, very large. They use Majestic and they go back to look at the root domain. So what we're looking at is there's quite a few backlinks here. In addition to that, the citation flow, trust flow, is very high. 
You know, I always like to say if anything's over 30 for domain authority, that's great. Page authority, not so much. This gives me a little bit of hope to outrank them. Even though I already do on that one term, I think that I can really flip this and rank much more for this particular site, especially because we can add citation and create trust flow because we're actually in the area. They don't have any social metrics that this picked up. And uh, if I go down, I can just look at that link um, distribution. Now, if I go back into this uh, to my uh, la, 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 la. sorry, I'm just looking for my competitor manager. And I go to the next one. This is OCSEO, who was really just killing it, really killing it here. I mean, you can see gr they're just green all the way. This is really the competition to beat in my area if I want this site to rank. So if I go back and I look at OCSEO, see, they don't have as many links. So, so this lets me know that the links are probably stronger. And they have great citation and trust flow, great domain authority and page authority. So if we look at these combined ranks, it helps me to know what it is that I'm going for. And look at their social metrics. In Google, plus ones, 1,471. They've got a lot of tweets and likes and shares. So this is a great site. And I think that it's somebody that uh, I could really easily say is probably going to be a tough competition. I'm going to go back and just look at the SEO Long Beach and the Web Design Studio. Web Design Studio is the one that actually beat me for that tour, beat us for that exact term. So let's go back and look at those two sites really quick. And uh, here's the Long Beach site. And this site I think is going to be a little easier. They're very close, uh, just for those of you who don't know, Long Beach is right next door to Seal Beach, so it makes sense to me why they ranked. And all I need to do is go in and outdo them on several of these areas. And because their links are low and their combined rates are low, I think I will be able to have that site really kind of address that. Let's go look at the last one really quick, which is the site that actually beat us and that was the Web Design Studio Pro. Now, very interesting, this site has probably got a little bit of age from 2014, but they don't have that many links. They have a few backlinks, not very much authority in comparison to us because we're a brand new site. I'm going to go and show you so that you can see kind of uh, our actual so that you can see us specifically. I mean, you know, we're already at a five. So it's not showing this. Um, let's just try to compare these two together and see if you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So when I look at Seal Beach SEO in comparison to the other site, which is the one that actually beat us, I mean, it already says that we have 30 backlinks. That's probably because we've started doing some of our social and just looking at different aspects as we're building out the site and we're linking pages to each other. Um, we've got two referring IPs. Neither one of us show um, much for backlinks here. Total page size, we're much smaller. Uh, load time, they actually load quicker than we do. Um, page authority. Now see here they've already started citation and trust flow which is going to beat us so we need to go and really handle that and now you can see here all the way down they've just got us beat because we don't have anything at all we've not done anything but as far as domain authority I mean they're only three points ahead of us so this is kind of some low-hanging fruit for us they don't have very much as far as social goes so I think that we could pretty much take over for that term. Uh, I hope that this was very helpful to see how to, let's go back and see if uh, the keyword niche, so here we go. So uh, for best SEO agency, this is still coming through and it's showing us the exact same um, domains. Although nothing has really been filled in, this right here, the marketing 
consultants has three text links so I, I chose just a keyword that I really want to go and rank for and then we'll just go see how this works the most important thing is that you understand how to go and grab once you choose your keywords to be able to determine how you want to outrank your competitors in your area I hope this was helpful talk to you soon